Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is episode 13. So let's look at the denominator of this rational expression. It is x squared plus 2x minus 15. And we can see that this could be easily factored out so let's go ahead and take care of that thing. x minus 19 is still going to stay on the top. So the denominator, this could be factored out into x minus 3 and x plus 5. Two linear factors. So far so good. And now we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this rational expression so i'm gonna look at these two linear factors means we're gonna have a two fractions separated by plus sign the first one is gonna be x minus three at the denominator the other one is gonna be x plus five and on the numerator for the first fraction is going to be constant a for the second one is going to be constant b and our task is to find the values of a and b and here is our next step let's focus on this denominator x minus 3 times x plus 5 i am going to multiply this equation across the board i'm going to multiply on this side x minus 3 times x plus 5 likewise x minus 3 times x plus 5 with this fraction and x minus 3 times x plus 5 for this fraction so let's look at this one over here this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3 this x plus 5 cancels out with this x plus 5 so we are left with x minus 19 on the left hand side equals to let's look at this thing on the right hand side x minus 3 cancel with this x minus 3 so we are left with a times x plus 5 plus once again on this side x plus 5 is gone with this x plus 5 so we are left with b times x minus 3 and i am going to call this as an equation number 1 and here is our quick trick look for linear factors in the denominator over here let's look at the denominator we have x minus 3 is one linear factor and the other one is x plus 5. So I am going to write down those linear factors right up here. I am going to copy them down x minus 3 right up here and then x plus 5 on this side. I am going to set both of them equal to 0 that means x is going to be positive 3 one of our x values and the other one is going to be x equal to negative 5 another x value now let's look at this x equal to 3 value first and i wrote down put x equal to 3 in this equation 1 that means wherever we see x is being replaced by 3 so on the left hand side this becomes 3 minus 19 equal to a times 3 plus 5 and now let's focus on this b times when I replace this x by 3 minus 3 becomes 0 0 times this whole term is going to become 0 so I'm going to write down 0 right up here on the left hand side we got a negative 16 equals to 8a that means a is going to be negative 
2. And now let's focus on the value x equal to negative 5 and I wrote down put x equal to negative 5 in this given equation 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace by negative 5 so on the left hand side becomes negative 5 minus 19 equals to over here let's look at this one when I, I replace this x by negative 5 and this is plus 5 makes 0 0 times this whole thing is going to become 0 so I am going to write down 0 plus b times negative 5 minus 3 on this left hand side that's going to make negative 24 equals to negative 8b that gives us b equal to positive 3 value so thus our a value turns out to be negative 2 and b value is 3 and therefore in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a we are going to replace it by negative 2 and wherever we see b that is going to be replaced by 3 and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye